Unexpectedly, cosmic events of extraordinary scale happen billions of kilometers from Earth, reverberating all through the universe. As of now, a similar event is drawing nearer, causing shock even among scientists. A red giant star, located at the outer ranges of our galaxy, is conveying inauspicious signs. Across the universe, these signs have been detected by the James Webb Space Telescope. Cosmologists have revealed significantly upsetting exposures about this epic celestial body. As recognized astrophysicist Brian Cox gives a grave rebuke, a pressing question arises. Are we faltering on the edge of seeing a catastrophic astronomical blast that could forever change the normal night sky? Before diving into extra details, try subscribing to our channel if you haven't already. Now, the consuming inquiry holds up. Will this impact Earth? And will it be recognizable from our planet? Stay tuned as we explore the answers to these compelling questions in this video. In the vast expanse of the universe, where the phenomena of birth, life, and death unfold in enchanting marvel, one specific star has recently captured the attention and concern of both cosmologists and the general public. This star, known as Betelgeuse, stands out prominently as a red supergiant in the Orion constellation, displaying immense size and age. While its striking reddish hue and fluctuating brightness have long captivated observers, recent events have further heightened interest in this brilliant behemoth. As we delve into the essence of Betelgeuse, we find ourselves approaching the very edge of a potentially magnificent event in the star's life cycle. However, what do these changes in Betelgeuse's behavior mean? Could we witness the beginning of a spectacular, flamboyant display of incomprehensible scale? Betelgeuse, parading a size multiple times greater than our sun, remains a colossal giant among stars. Its sheer size extends the limits of human imagination. Picture a star so enormous that if it were to take the sun's position, its surface would extend past Mars' orbit, enveloping Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars within its brilliant grasp. This extraordinary size not only highlights Betelgeuse's physical enormity, but also signals its place in the stellar life cycle. As a red supergiant, Betelgeuse is in the twilight phase of its existence, marked by expansion and cooling after eons of fusing hydrogen into helium at its core. Questions arise about Betelgeuse's age. Despite being relatively young in human terms, estimated at around 8.8 .8 to 8.5 million years old, it remains quite old within the context of stellar lifespans. Its current status as a red supergiant reflects the peak of a long period of stellar evolution, characterized by dramatic transformations from a hot blue star to the extraordinary red giant we observe today. The journey of stars like Betelgeuse unfolds as a story of continual change driven by the relentless forces of nuclear fusion and gravity. One noticeable feature of Betelgeuse's current stage is its striking red color. This deep red hue arises from its relatively cooler surface temperature compared to stars like our sun. While our sun shines at around 5,500 Kelvin, Betelgeuse's surface temperature is cooler, starting at around 3,500 Kelvin. This cooler temperature allows Betelgeuse to emit light in shades of red. However, this color isn't merely an aesthetic characteristic. It provides insights into the star's actual state, as well as the ongoing processes within its vast gaseous envelope. Adding to the intrigue surrounding Betelgeuse is its surprising color history. Ancient texts from Roman and Chinese sources suggest that, almost a thousand years ago, Betelgeuse appeared yellow. It was shortly after the 9th century that Arabic astronomers described it as red. This historical shift in color is not only a footnote in cosmic records, but serves as a signal in the star's remarkable journey. The fluctuating brightness of Betelgeuse adds another layer of intrigue. It functions as a semi-regular variable star, meaning its luminosity undergoes periodic variations. This dance of brightness has captivated cosmologists and stargazers for centuries. Typically, Betelgeuse follows a multi-day cycle alongside a longer five-year cycle, first noted as early as 1836 by Sir John Herschel, and perhaps even earlier in local oral traditions. However, what truly sets Betelgeuse apart isn't merely its fluctuating brightness, but its irregularity. Unlike many stars that follow predictable patterns, Betelgeuse sometimes deviates from its usual dimming and brightening rhythm. 
This inconsistency points to complex and less understood processes unfolding within its massive structure. Recent dramatic revelations have captivated astronomers worldwide when Betelgeuse underwent a remarkable and striking transformation. Now widely known as the Great Dimming, everything began in late 2019. At that time, Betelgeuse, the red supergiant, was shining brightly in the night sky and was a prominent feature of the Orion constellation. However, it began undergoing a mysterious dimming. The dimming was so pronounced that it lost luminosity at an average rate of 0.01 magnitudes per day, reaching its lowest brightness by February 2020. Betelgeuse, normally visible to the naked eye even amid light pollution, essentially faded. Even casual observers couldn't miss it. However, there's a significant challenge in tracking the behavior of Betelgeuse, the time delay. When we observe a star like Betelgeuse, we're not seeing its current state, but rather its past, due to the time it takes for light to travel to us. Betelgeuse, situated about 725 light years away, means that the light we see today left the star nearly 725 years ago. This time lag complicates efforts to predict and track sudden changes in a star's behavior, as we are essentially observing events that occurred in the distant past. The dimming of Betelgeuse serves as a clear reminder of the intrinsic complexities in cosmic observations and the limitations of our understanding when grappling with the vast scales of the universe and the time mysteries they involve. The spectacular journey of Betelgeuse's galactic performance was meticulously tracked by Andrea Dupree, the associate director of the Center for Astrophysics at Harvard and Smithsonian, along with her team. Using the Hubble Space Telescope, they embarked on a three-year study to monitor changes in Betelgeuse's outer atmosphere. These observations provided invaluable insights into how a variable star like Betelgeuse behaves, with its regular expansions and contractions leading to fluctuations in brightness. The keen sensitivity of Hubble to ultraviolet light allowed the researchers to probe the layers above Betelgeuse's surface, which were partly heated by the star's turbulent convection cells. Furthermore, a detailed analysis of the Hubble spectra obtained at various intervals throughout 2019 and 2020 facilitated the measurement of material composition. Development inside creepy Crawley's external climate explicitly focuses on the review. Zeroed in on the magnesium two lines in the spectra, it offers bits of insight into the star's environmental circumstances. These perceptions uncovered material traveling at rates of around 200,000 miles per hour from beach surface into its external climate. This warmed and thick material eventually extended huge numbers of miles from Betelgeuse, forming the forerunner to the residue cloud responsible for the star's darkening. Dupree and her group estimated that during the three-month event, generally two times the typical measure of material from insect Jews' southern half of the globe was shed. This critical mass loss is especially remarkable since, like all stars, insect Jew persistently sheds mass, yet at a much higher rate than our sun. The magnitude of this mass launch and the subsequent diminishing sparked conversations among cosmologists regarding whether this event could signal an approaching cosmic explosion. The proximity of Betelgeuse, located approximately 725 light years from Earth, adds to the interest. If such an explosion were to happen, it would be visible from Earth, presenting an opportunity to closely observe a cosmic explosion. However, the question remains. What does this darkening event mean for Betelgeuse's future? Could it signal a forthcoming cosmic explosion? Or is it only a transient stage in the star's enormous and complex journey? Various theories have been proposed to shed light on this phenomenon. One hypothesis suggests a phase in the cosmic explosion process, gaining traction due to the inevitable belief that Creepy Crawley is nearing the end of its life cycle. Another widely accepted speculation involves dust, possibly originating from the star itself, hindering our view of Betelgeuse. A third explanation analyzes changes in the star's photosphere, its apparent surface layer, which could influence its apparent brilliance. Comprehensive investigation utilizing various observational procedures added to disentangling this mystery. Spectroscopic evaluations showed a decline in Betelgeuse's effective temperature, indicating the likelihood of a huge dim spot on the star's surface. This hypothesis found support in observations revealing a temperature drop of no less than 170 Kelvin during the darkening period, highlighting significant surface changes. Ultimately, 
The key to understanding this rare phenomenon came from mankind's careful look into space. The Hubble Space Telescope's precise observations revealed that Betelgeuse's dimming was likely caused by a significant discharge of heated material into space. This material coalesced to form a dust cloud, blocking part of the star's surface and reducing the amount of light reaching us. The development of the dust cloud was attributed to superheated plasma, which emanated from a massive convection cell on the star's surface and passed through its burning atmosphere to the cooler external layers. After cooling, this plasma formed dust particles, resulting in a cloud that blocked light from about a fourth of the star's surface. Hubble's ultraviolet light spectroscopic observations, which began in January 2019, played a vital role in recreating the events leading up to Betelgeuse's darkening. These observations identified signs of dense, heated material traveling through the star's atmosphere in the months preceding the dimming event. By December 2019, other ground-based telescopes also observed the star's reducing brightness, particularly in its southern hemisphere. Initially, this material appeared brighter than the star's normal radiance, eventually resulting in the development of a shadow as it dissipated outward and cooled. The idea was simple. This outward progression of material and the resulting shadow were responsible for the unexpected darkening of the star. The scale of this launch is truly astounding, pushing Betelgeuse into the spotlight. The star expelled an estimated 400 billion times the mass normally released in a standard coronal mass ejection. This expelled material was thought to be enough to fill the volume of our moon several times over, marking a significant event for Betelgeuse, as well as advancing our understanding of stellar mechanics. But what are the implications of such a massive release of material for Betelgeuse and the broader theories of supernovae? Traditional thinking proposes that red supergiants like Betelgeuse regularly shed mass before reaching the catastrophic peak of their existence. However, the size of this discharge challenges this view hinting at a potentially more volatile and erratic final stage for these stars. Could Betelgeuse be preparing for its grand finale, a cosmic explosion, within the next few centuries? Later research speculated on the timing of such an event, suggesting it might occur sooner than previously expected, perhaps in just a few years. Moreover, the concept of the bow shock adds another important layer to the Betelgeuse puzzle. As this gigantic star races through space at around 67,000 miles per hour relative to its surrounding interstellar medium, it creates a bow shock similar to the wake formed by a moving boat's bow. This phenomenon arises from the star's outer layers interacting with interstellar gases and dust, offering a stunning display of the star's dynamic behavior and its relationship with the celestial milieu. However, what about Betelgeuse's recent behavior? Its surface cooling and decreased density, observed following the mass release event, have left the star in an unsettled state, even years afterward. Hydrodynamic simulations suggest a connection between the star's convective activities, the mass discharge, and the subsequent changes in its oscillation modes. This ongoing instability raises questions about the internal processes driving these changes and their potential implications for the star's future. Furthermore, the observed mass loss rate of Betelgeuse exceeds that of many other stars, reflecting a complex interplay of internal forces. With energy continually dissipating through shock heating and mass ejection, Betelgeuse's rhythm is shifting. The very nature of these mass losses points to the star's dynamic and somewhat unpredictable life cycle, prompting astronomers to reconsider their models of stellar evolution.